War ain't any good. However, military technologies are the ones that signify the progress. Without them, we would not have the internet, up-to-date medicine, or jet engines. Technologies that were initially developed for warfare ultimately become of service to a mankind. In this release, we will check out a selection of military inventions. So, let's get started. Lightweight Torpedo By order of the Ministry of Defense of Sweden, Saab introduced a new torpedo project, Lightweight. It is small, lighter, and controlled. Lightweight features high maneuverability and can be used in shallow water, in narrow straits, and in the coastal zone. It has got an excellent speed up to 40 knots, a range of 12 miles, and a maximum depth of 984 feet. It is important that the lightweight torpedo can be launched from the aircraft, from surface ships, and submarines. It can also be used to intercept other torpedoes. The contract value amounts to $175 million. Deliveries will start next year. Upward falling payload are containers that will be placed at different points in the oceans at a depth of more than 13,123 feet. Inside, there are drones, weapons for strike purposes, or materials required to support U.S. warships. Being secured to the seabed, containers can stand by for many years, while withstanding enormous pressure. After receiving the signal from the computer, a container floats to the surface and the content inside it will go up. The length of such storage will be 197 inches weight more than 2 tons. Upward falling payload has already passed the tests. If necessary, they can strike anywhere in the world. Land Systems Join Forces Until recently, small unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs were mainly used for reconnaissance operations by infantry or special forces. However, development of UAV technology and experience of their operation by the armed forces have led manufacturers of military equipment and UAV developers to offer the concept of integrating drones with various types of combat vehicles. AeroVironment is collaborating with General Dynamics Land Systems to integrate its unmanned aerial systems with combat vehicles. This program is designed to significantly advance the integration of automated reconnaissance using the UAVs and high-precision missile launch systems with electronic armor transport. This approach ensures quick detection of the enemy determining its coordinates, and if necessary, destroying them. Such options will be especially useful in difficult terrain such as urban areas, forests, or mountains, where an idea of the enemy's location provides a significant advantage. Sikorsky Autonomy Research Aircraft, SARA for short, is a system that can operate a helicopter independently and hand over a steering wheel to a pilot in exceptional situations. The mechanism is quite simple. A pilot will only have to indicate the route or just a point on the map on the tablet, as well as to set an altitude and speed parameters. A tablet with a touchscreen is attached to the pilot's leg. Several control buttons are installed on the gadget, so the entire picture of the flight is displayed. For additional control, a couple of joysticks were also installed in the cabin. Creators claim that even an amateur can control this machine. The system itself will analyze the surroundings, identify obstacles, and will avoid them. New technology will significantly increase human safety, which is of the highest importance. Laser Lockheed Martin introduced a mobile combat laser designed on the basis of the FMTV truck. This type of army vehicle carries heavy loads such as ammunition, provisions, and other important loads. The equipment itself is not military, therefore having received laser weapons, these technologies will be able to protect themselves not only from missiles and mortar mines but also from drones, helicopters and even small aircraft. Developers decided to base a laser assembly on a fiber laser with spectral matching technology. Thus, several light emitters at the output have got a powerful beam. The installation has already been tested and is preparing for the first deliveries. Rheinmetall Mission Master Rheinmetall introduced an automatic platform for special operations, the so-called Mission Master Multi-Purpose Unmanned Ground Transport. By changing modules, this several configurations of the machine can be used Mule, a cargo platform for transporting ammunition, weapons, and equipment, surveillance system, and vehicle fire support troops. Existing modules can be easily installed by operators on a vehicle, 
thus transforming an unmanned vehicle to perform various tasks. Rheinmetall is also ready to custom make any required modules. High cross-country ability of the Rheinmetall Mission Master makes it perfect for use in hard-to-reach areas and high-risk areas, thereby increasing the operational efficiency of units and reducing the likelihood of losses. PL-01 Armed forces of different countries introduced combat drones literally everywhere, which cast doubts on raison d'etre of heavy ground equipment, unless tanks become invisible or learn to defend themselves in new ways. This problem is solved by the concept of the combat vehicle PL-01, presented by the Polish military concern Obra, in cooperation with British colleagues. Innovation features thermal and radio invisibility. PL-01 is coated with a material that absorbs radio waves and is equipped with a thermal camouflage system. In addition, the system can project the thermal imprint of the tank in a completely different place, while the PL-01 itself will look like an ordinary car for drone sensors. PL-01 belongs to light tanks. By its layout, it is closer to assault guns, as its armament includes a 120 caliber gun, which can be replaced by a 105 caliber one if necessary. The electromagnetic railgun is a long-range naval weapon that uses electricity instead of rocket fuel. A rail cannon fires from a range of up to 220 miles, which is 10 times the distance that the ship's guns are capable of. At the same time, it fires without warning and much faster compared to a salvo of Tomahawk cruise missiles. Its principle of action goes as follows. Electricity is generated by the vessel and stored for several seconds in an impulse energy system. Then, an electric pulse is fed to the railgun, creating an electromagnetic force that accelerates the projectile. Using the maximum speed of impact, the warhead eliminates the danger of explosives on the ship and unexploded ordnance on the battlefield.